Hey, Craig here. I just thought I'd do a quick video explaining the uh, Dominic drag knife a little better. The Dominic drag knife comes in this kind of cool case here. And it comes with the, uh, of course, the drag knife itself. Uh, some extra blades. It just uses regular, you know, utility knife blades. So, and uh, an Allen key to take, change the blades. Show you what it looks like up here a little closer. Uh, this particular model is the uh, D2. They have a D1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, they may have some other ones, but basically, I believe it's the uh, D2 and the D4 have a quarter inch depth of cut. You can quarter a quarter inch depth of material um, but uh, the difference between the D2 and the D4 I believe it is is the diff is the diameter of the uh, shank this one right here I got the the uh, the half inch because uh, I figured it'd be more heavy duty so I just use a uh, Tormach uh, TTS holder with a quarter inch with a half inch uh, collet in there um, they also have, uh, yeah, I believe it was a one and a three, uh, but that only is made for uh, 16th inch material. Um, I believe you can also stick like an X-Acto knife in there. I'm not sure, but I think this was like $230 or something like that. Not cheap, but you know what, uh, what it's going to do for me is definitely going to be worth it. Anyway, so some basics on how this thing works. You know, when I first saw it in the, the videos, I thought maybe I had to get some kind of uh, special mill or, you know, I had a stepper or something that, you know, because you'd see it going like this and turning around and stuff like this. It has, it has to do with the geometry of this or something. The, there's an offset, in other words, the, the tip of this is not directly lined up with the center of the mill and that's one of the reasons why is, you know you usually have to use some kind of special software is because you can program in this offset in there and uh, so basically when it's cutting um, usually you kind of align it to where it's gonna start cutting you know and then um, then as it's cutting, it basically turns on its on its own as it's going around, um, and but for sharp corners, it needs this um, it needs a special software to be able to go around sharp corners, like if you're doing letters or something like that, um, because the software actually has to lift it up out of the material leaving it in by like you know five or five thou or something like that and then the software actually moves the uh, you know in the XY uh, the proper amount for the knife to actually turn a sharp corner then it plunges it back down and keeps going so all this action of this thing spinning around is actually all controlled by the uh, basically the X and the Y stepper motors so it's kind of cool okay so a little better <clears throat> a little better explanation about how the sharp corners are cut uh, with the drag knife uh, but as you can see here this arc right here this is actually indicating where the drag knife has to be lifted up and uh, slightly or enough for it to be able to still turn inside the uh, uh, inside the material, like maybe five thou or something, um, and then the, uh, the yeah the software turns the blade and then it puts it down in the material and can, keeps cutting. That's what this symbol here means.
Alright, well, if you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to leave any comments, any suggestions, or anything down below. Alright, 